Okay, so this camera is not meant for one arm vlogging. If I touch like this little wheel at the top, it turns the recording off. Even though it's not the stop start button, but anyway. Hi guys! Um, today I felt like doing a little bit of like a daily vlog. If you can hear a weird noise in the background, it's just the heater for the conservatory. Um, I'm gonna have to like hold you differently. So at the moment it is nearly half nine. I woke up at 7 and obviously my parents both got to work earlier, my mum was in schools and my dad, I'm not completely sure, but I have to be up to look after the baby doodles, that is him right now, just in his bed, he's got two because we bought him one and then the breeder we bought him off bought him the exact same one, um, so he's brought his spare bed in here because it's, the floor is chilly even though we've got the heater on. Um, yeah, I felt like vlogging what an average day in my life is. Today's the first day I've been in the conservatory, I just felt like it. I wanted to get more just stuff done. And because obviously Alfie's a puppy, he wants to bite wires, so I can't really bring my laptop charger down. My laptop only has about three hours battery life and I'm at home alone for about six hours, maybe seven. So that's four hours of stuff where I'm not really very um, productive. So. What I do pretty much every day, I mean I haven't like for a couple of days, I have this notebook which is from Tesco, it came in a pack of three. I really love Tesco stationery and I've got to do lists since the beginning of the year. And I used to do two a page, no I'm not and I don't want to do this page, I'm trying to get through my notebooks. Anyway, so the stuff that I want to get done today is take Alfie for a walk obviously. Drink six glasses of water. Um, I've had a glass of orange juice, but I'm not counting that. I find it really difficult to actually drink. Um, so I have to remind myself, and I haven't done that in a while, so I'm most likely not going to get six glasses today. But we're going to keep trying. I want to play Sims. I've got a collab video, which will already be up, which I need to edit. Um, I will link that in the description, probably. I want to write. I want to read this mindfulness book and I want to work out my arm's getting really tired now this is a good arm workout so and that's just kind of what I could think of this morning while I was kind of half asleep so I'm gonna get that stuff done normally I'm not quite as productive but I'm gonna try and be productive to make the vlog as interesting as possible look at that this video is 39 minutes long why do I do this to myself? I film for ages and then I'm like how am I going to make this a watchable length? So stay tuned to see how this goes. There's a bit in the video that when I filmed my mum sneezed from downstairs and Alfie heard and he turned and I want to try and get it on camera because it's really funny but he keeps going through there he doesn't want to be in here for some reason but he always looks through the window to be in here. I think it's because he's used to being in the living room. I just don't want him to do a poop on the floor. Come on, Mr. Moo. I call him Mr. Moo, I don't know why. Come on. I'll lie down with your little pussy. Hello. Hey. Come on. Come on. Come with me. I'll bring you pussy. Look at that angelic little face. Look at that. Oh, hello. Come on. What's this? Come get it. Come on. This is how I spend my day. Oh, sorry. I banged to my elbow. See, you got to fight off everything. What's this? What's this? Come on. Let's go into here. Here you go. <sighs> See, he just sees my mummy sneeze and he's like, Oh, I know that sneeze. I know that sneeze very well, don't you? Because <laughs> mummy's got a cold. <gasps> Look at that gorgeous face. It's just lovely. If you start humping that, I swear to God. What you doing, gorgeous? 
What did I need it for? Look how tiny he looks. Look at him. He's so small. I've pulled your bed next to my feet if you want to sit there and I'll put my feet on the cold floor if it makes you feel better. Oh, <laughs> Look at his little bum. He's so cute. You got such a big bum. Got them birthing hips even though you were a boy. You got a Nicki Minaj. I managed to lure him in. And now he's just licking his paws. The dog saga continues. Hopefully he stays here and has a little nap. I don't know how I've done it, but I've managed to make it less than 15 minutes. I think I just spent so much time actually doing the makeup that I needed to cut out. That's why it was so long. But thank God it's not a 40 minute video. Yay! That is Alfie right now. Just half in his bed, half out. He's potentially drooling as well from what I can see. Anyway, so I'm playing Sims. You can probably see me. There's like just trees in the screen. There we go. That fixes it. So, I've started a new game. I've decided to do like the rags to riches thing. I wish I could do this as like um, a playthrough or like um, on Twitch. I really want to like do a Twitch, but I ain't got the money. Like my laptop barely runs Sims. So she is called Blair Chambers. So she wants to be a mansion baron. She's ambitious, good and creative. So what I've kind of done is because she's going to not own anything She's, I've kind of dressed her as if everything she owns is from Primark. This is meant to be like a boohoo dress that's like five pound. <laughs> you know, like the majority of these outfits she's not gonna wear, but it's as if she's not dressing fancy, do you know what I mean? Like she's got rips in her jeans, she's got the flannel to keep her warm if she gets cold. You know, cheap Primark make Converse. This is like not focused either, but yeah, this is kind of what we're going for right now, so I'll keep you updated. You can totally see me in this screen, but that's fine. So, we've got a lot on Willow Creek. I'm gonna she has zero money. Um, Willow Creek is kind of the best from what I gather because there's like places where people do barbecues. Like I think it might be over here. Where people make food? No, nope, not someone's gone. Where's the place? There's always have I picked the wrong place to go. What? Okay, that's fine. We can go to the park for that. I guess. I'm so sorry for how like bad this is, but like there's no way I can make this even better. Um So the first thing that you can do obviously you have to have like an empty lot. The most you can do around here is kind of like dig um, and like get frogs and stuff. My game plan is to sell art to begin with. Um, I'm going to be doing it slightly differently to some of the ones I've seen. Welcome back and go away. Um, where you know it's kind of like you just still like basically live with nothing, you just got a lot of money. I'm not gonna do it like that. Um Found a ro one rose. How's how is a rose a crystal? I don't understand. Um I'm might be dumb though. I mean might be is not even like I am dumb. Oh, I can't even go over there. Okay. I think this is all we're gonna get from this area around where we live. Um, yeah, I'm gonna like be building up a house as we go. So, yeah, I might be playing Sims all day and not doing half the things I want to do. But again, I'll, I'll keep you updated. This is all just making me really want to do videos on The Sims. Okay, this is what I have so far. So, obviously, there's a bed, we've got a sink now, we've built a tiny little bathroom. So, now we don't really have to leave. Oop, hit me hammer. We don't, have, we don't have to leave this lot, we need to go to like the gym and shower, which we try to do, but it just takes up so much time to do that. Because you can just like wash hands on the sink, like 
a bunch of times. Um, at the moment we have 1042 simoleons and we are level, level 6 paint skill. So we're not doing too bad right now. Um, I'm going to just speak this up. So yeah, I'm going to leave it for now because I'm getting hungry. Hello. Um, update. This is little Alfalfa down there. He just bumped his nose because he's like... We, we kind of closed the kitchen door a little bit so we can like push it to get it open. But it just means that we don't get the cold from the inside. It's like... 20 past 12 now. Where have I got my phone? I'm waiting for my mum to ring because it's lunchtime. Um, I have been trying to be a bit healthier lately. Like for this morning I had orange juice, a banana and some um, brown bread toast for breakfast. But a little problem with trying to be healthy and then having a chicken pizza for lunch is we don't have anything in that I know how to cook. Uh, that's healthy. So I'm just gonna have to have like a healthier tea. My mum will ring and be like, what do you want for tea? And I'll be like, something healthy. Hi gorgeous. Hi gorgeous. He wants this like stringy bitch. <sighs> Big stretch. He does a cat stretch and I think it's very cute. Look at that fish. Look how gorgeous he is. Look at them paws. He's had his hair cut and we didn't realise but on both like pinky toes he's got a little black spot um, which has only just kind of come up since he's had his fur cut. He was a very good boy. You were very brave weren't you baby? He didn't like it and you were a bit traumatised afterwards but you were so well behaved. Oh, I, I really wish you'd done it. Sometimes there's a really cute squeaky noise. When he owns and if he'd done that there, I'd be so happy because I'd have that immortalised forever, wouldn't I? I have slightly burnt pizza, but that's fine. But this is what I have to deal with every day, every meal, especially when I'm alone. There's no one to distract him. He just wants my food. And right now, for some reason, he wants my highlighters or my wire. Get down. Usually he's just really drunk. Like yesterday, all I had was toast with banana on it. And he was dying for that food. What are you doing? Stop biting everything. Get down. Good boy. And here he comes. Because he can smell the pizza. And he's like, where is it? I want it. Give me the pizza. I know how you feel, Alfie. But it's my pizza. It's mine. Okay, so I finished reading the chapter of the mindfulness book that I was on. Um, I was on. I'm only on chapter three because chapter four is when the eight weeks start. Um, and I was going to go on to that, but there's a mindfulness activity in there that I want to do before I start that, which is called the chocolate mindfulness exercise. So basically, you just eat a bar of chocolate mindfully. But we haven't got any chocolate in, um, so I haven't gone any further with the book at the moment. Uh, I'm going to ask my mum to bring in some chocolate on the way home though because it's an excuse to eat chocolate and it has to be a bar of chocolate you don't eat regularly so I'm thinking them like lint ones um, yeah so this mindfulness book it has an 8 week long um, like training so I am going to do that and I'm going to talk about all of that in a new, another video but obviously that will be in about two months time um, but I'm going to go through the whole process so if you're interested in that subscribe below um, and look out for that I'm having a go at my writing again I have been writing this book for right I'm 20 now <laughs> I think I want to say about three years. Um, I have never gotten further than chapter five, I don't think. But I basically, I had it all written out, like the characters and then like the outline and then like a chapter by chapter thing. Sorry, the camera's done for me. Um, and then I just, com I just completely redid it. Um, I decided to rewrite it instead of trying to just make what I had written better I thought you know what I'm gonna scrap it well it's still there 
um, but I'm going to completely rewrite it. So that's when I look back at what I had written just to see plot points where I was going with it. Um, it's so much better now. Like it might not still be that good compared to like a lot of people's writing but it's so much better and I think it's just you know getting older you're kind of wiser and I, that's a lot of reading to do in about three years that's you know your reading style changes your writing your reading style reading changes your writing style so I'm on chapter four um, I've written two pages or is it like one and one and a half Yeah, it's one like one and a half pages, um, and I haven't even finished the first bullet point of what I want to do yet. So, off to a good start. I haven't started writing this, this bit yet, but the chop is up to a good start. Okay, so it's like half eight now. Um, since we last spoke, I played a bit of Sims, but my laptop just doesn't work very well, and it kept going funny and I had to keep resetting the same and I was just like right I'm done now um, and I had tea wasn't as healthy as I, was, as I was originally intending but I had fish and it wasn't fish and chips it was like just cod unbattered so it wasn't that unhealthy but then I had what, potato waffles can we just talk about potato waffles for a second specifically birds eye potato waffles my mum always sings that little like song like birds eye potato waffles like all the time whenever we have them but and by we I mean me, I'm the only one in my house who has them. But they're such a versatile food. Like, you can have them for obviously lunch or dinner, but you can also have them for breakfast. It's the best staple food to have in at all times. So yeah, that was just a little PSA about potato waffles, thank you. So right now I'm just here, um, I am watching a Trisha Paytas vlog and playing the um, Sims Mobile and so far my to-do list I have had four glasses of water a day and a glass of orange juice I'm on my fifth glass of water so I'm doing really well for what I'm usually like and the only thing I have left to do is work out but frankly I'm not gonna do it it's half eight, it's about the time where I start getting really tired so today's been, it's been pretty productive like I'm quite happy with how it has been. I'm happy with how I've felt today. I haven't just sat around, I've barely watched YouTube really, like compared to what I usually do. Um, so I haven't just like sat and mindlessly watched stuff. Um, I've actually been like thinking and doing things and that's good for me, that's kind of what I need right now. So I realise I, I feel awkward just staring, hello, staring into the um, lens. So I, that's why I'm like looking around. I need to just stare at you, this is just us, like hello, stroke your face, um, that's creepy, um, change arms again, keeping it fresh, what do you mean it is this clip, I was just trying to update you with what I'm just doing, I think I'm going to end the video here, because I'm going to start getting deliriously tired, and it's only half eight, it's so sad, I'm literally a grandma, but like, the good kind of grandma who makes inappropriate jokes and constantly force feeds you just all kinds of food thinking that you're too skinny. I'm gonna go back to watching Trisha Paytas because she's queen and playing my Sims game on my phone. I realise I have played The Sims three times today and also on my phone so you could say I'm obsessed and I am. I really really if anything about this vlog has taught me is just how much I really want to do Sims videos or streams, like I already knew, but like, just talk me through on the camera, like you really couldn't see anything. I loved it, and I really want to do it, but my laptop is not good enough, and I don't have the software to record my screen, and it makes me quite sad, because it's something, <sighs> I think gaming on YouTube has like a special place in my heart, because if, when I was going through a really tough time, I found Dan and Phil, they were the first people I ever watched and, and then I found PewDiePie and I don't know, this was like old 2012 PewDiePie who I know everyone's like bring back the old 2012 PewDiePie, the old 2012 PewDiePie was so much better and 
while I don't like while I don't agree with that because everyone grows, everyone wants to change their content, I totally agree with what if he wants to do he's doing what he wants to do now, basically, and that's fine by me. I still like him. But 2012 PewDiePie is just more my sense of humour. Like the older PewDiePie videos, they really got me and they I don't know what it is, but they just took me to another place and made me feel so much better um, and I could really get into the videos and they kind of got me into horror games as well because I used to be so bad with everything horror and um, so he has a really special place in my heart I remember um, I didn't used to watch the Amnesia videos I watched. I went back and watched them um, a, like a year or two after I started watching him because I was like too scared of horror but I was like you know I'm gonna do it and I was going through a really tough time. I was really close with my grandma on my mum's side, my mum's mum. Um, she lived literally down the road from us and she was my mum's best friend aside from me. They were so close and I, well, essentially she was dying. I just re-watched all of his amnesia videos and it just made me feel a bit better despite the fact that I felt so awful because it was a case of I just knew it wasn't going to be long even though the doctor hadn't said anything I just knew and I was just kind of waiting for it to happen which sounds awful um, but yeah and then Jacksepticeye is kind of like that for me right now I'm a month I'm in I'm into I'm up to a month ago now um, from watching from the very start of his videos for the past probably six or more months, maybe even a year I've been going through his videos and he's kind of like nostalgia to me because he's a lot like old PewDiePie in a way and a lot of people call me green PewDiePie even though he's not green anymore but like yeah uh, so yeah gaming on YouTube has a really special place in my heart and I would love to be that for someone else because I know how much it meant to make the time to have that little escape and be in fashion is all well and good that's something I enjoy, I enjoy gaming too but you kind of get lost in beauty and fashion in the same way you can a video game with there's characters like Mr Chair and Stefano, Stefano, I love him and or like Jack's Subnautica series you know with Sally and Maria and Henry and why have I forgotten what the other one was called? Why am I thinking Peggy? It totally wasn't Peggy. Began with a P. Pepper. Pepper. Um. Yeah, I want that. I want to be that escape for someone else. So, I just wish I could do that now. But I know I can in the future, so. It's just a goal to work towards and I'm going to work really hard to work towards that so yeah I think I'm going to end this video on that because now this video is like 25 minutes long probably because of this clip alone so yeah I hope you enjoyed subscribe and all that jazz and I'll see you next time bye